Seven thirteen, everyone. An artistic program that's been taking place over the summer and early fall in Litchfield County is finishing up next weekend, and it's going to be a big finish. It means there's still a chance for you and your family to take part in the fun and the art. With me this morning is Matt Tynan from Kids Play Children's Museum, which has joined forces with the Northwest Connecticut Chamber of Commerce for this unique event. Matt, nice to have you here. The event is called All Aboard Litchfield County. Obviously, a little bit of a play on words with the uh, the art. Uh, that you had out in the field here, yep. so to speak. 44 different train caboose combinations? Yeah, we had uh, 44 trains uh, pieces were painted. Some were painted as a set, some were uh, painted individually. All local businesses sponsored an artist, and they came, uh, came together and collaborated on a design, so everything is unique, hand-painted. And dotted about the countryside Absolutely. across uh, Connecticut. Like where? Where, did it, where? where can people find uh, this? Well, now they're could all, they find it? They them? could find it uh, as far as Canton area, all the way through Torrington, up into Kent, down into Washington, and all over northwest Connecticut. Look at the quality of the artistry here. Who did this painting? Who well, did this I'd, work? You know, the, the, the pictures don't do justice to both sides, top, bottom, but we had artists like Daniel Mailer, um, Tina Zampaglione and a lot of people from Northwest Connecticut um, who, who have just uh, been involved in different programs like this. So you can kind of see this is a great shot of just how many there are and how unique they are. Um, and uh, so much fun and so it's amazing to see. It's just fantastic. Yep. And the idea here that certainly involved the Chamber of Commerce as well as your organization was to get people out and about in a lot of different places, even to kind of go on a sort of a search for where these are. Exactly. Are you hearing about people who went and saw sort of dozens of these in Absolutely. In fact, if you were able to get your scavenger hunt form filled out, you could send it into the Northwestern Connecticut Chamber of Commerce and local area businesses donated prizes for anybody who had a completed list. So we had about uh, about a hundred no that way. came back that in that were just all completely 44. full. Yeah. All right, now <laughs> all 44, you've collected them back mm -hmm. near your museum. What's the next step? Well, the next step, all, not all are going to be for sale. We had about 25 that are going to be available for sale. Some of the businesses that sponsored them kept them, they kept uh, them as right. displays okay. and, and to continue to promote the program. Um, but now that the 25 are back, kind of in the station, uh, as we say, yeah. um, they're getting cleaned up and prepped so that they can be auctioned off to benefit the Kids Play Children's Museum and Northwestern Connecticut Education Foundation. You have had success with this kind of thing before. Tell yep. us about that. Yep. You, raised, you raised big money. A big money, actually. Yeah. Six years ago, we had a um, program where fiberglass bears were cast. Many of the same artists and businesses participated, and the event raised $125,000. And that helped promote visitors to many of the uh, you know, wonderful towns in, in around Torrington. And so we're really looking forward to a, a similar uh, result. I remember New York City did the same thing with cows mm -hmm. uh, a few years back, yep. and it was so much fun. You just walk around the city, and all of a sudden, there's a brilliantly painted cow, yeah, you know, it, coming out of the street corner. It really stops you in your tracks, and you're really, I mean, you're driving by, you see these things, and you stop. The kids climb around them, you take pictures and share. It was just a wonderful experience. Who comes forward to buy these individuals, companies, and and, and what do they do with them once they have them? Well, that's a, a lot of different things. You can keep them as a a piece of art in your own private collection. Um, we have some people who, uh, individuals who are buying them to donate them, specifically with a school or a daycare in mind, so that kids can just play on them because they are just extremely durable. That's They're coated. A you know, that's a beautiful idea. Yeah. If somebody wanted to make a donation to, let's say, the daycare center where their mm -hmm. child goes, yep. you could purchase one, uh, raise the the money to for all the good causes that you mentioned, and then put it in the daycare center playground. And, and their design, their fiberglass, they could last for years. Exactly. And the paint after the hand painting designs were done, they were coated with a, a, a coating that protects them from any kind of weathering or uh, or children activity, you know, this is, whatever might happen. You know, it's just a brilliant idea, this notion of, of, of creating a, a field of, of subjects that spans out across the mm -hmm. landscape, making people go to different areas. What better thing for tourism could there be in a generalized sense? Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, because they were all uniquely hand-painted, it really encourages what's the next one going to be. Um, really makes you appreciate the amount of detail and talent of these artists that we had working on them. Um, so we're very proud of the, uh, the event so far. All right, Matt, let's, let's uh, put up on the screen uh, the uh, particulars of the auction next week. Talk us through when, the when, the where, and the how. Absolutely. Yep. It's going to be Saturday, November 1st. Uh, it's going to begin at 5 p.m. That's when the doors open. There's going to be cocktails served, uh, hand-passed hors d'oeuvres. The auction begins promptly at 6.30. It's going to take place at 69 Main Street in Torrington, which is right next to the Kids Play Children's Museum. And um, it's just going to be a great event. You have a chance to walk around, take a look at all the yeah. trains, decide which ones you might want to focus your bidding on. And then, like I said, at 6.30, we're really going to get started with the auction. 
what's not to like. That's going to be great. All right, Matt, thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Good luck.